Greetings, fabulous grade fives. Good to have you with us again today. Today we're going to have a look at data handling, um, which is one of those things that uh, comes up again. I think you do it at least once every single year, normally twice. Um, so let's get that under our belts and make sure that we're good for that when it comes around later on this year. Let's jump across to the presentation. The normal reminders at the start of a lesson. If you'd like to email me, I'm Mr. T or Mr. Travis, you can email me grade five at worksheetcloud.com. And after the lesson, click on that link above here, do the worksheet, make sure that you've got this, the aspects of data handling that we're looking at today um, before you, before, well, just to make sure that you've got it. And, and, and just a reminder, just to remember that um, maths is mostly about practice. It's the practice that gets it into our head. So, while you may watch somebody do something, you think, ah, oh, that makes sense. If you don't practice it, it's not going to stick in your head so that when it comes up in a few months' time, um, you'd be like, oh, I've forgotten how to do this. So the more you practice, the better you get. Um, okay, so next uh, slide is our usual um, start of the lesson. It's our um, practice of mental arithmetic. I've just done times today. You'll notice it's all related to one particular times table, but not in order. So hopefully you will manage with this. You have 40 seconds to answer 10 questions, just the answer. Your 40 seconds start now. And your 40 seconds finish now. So you will notice it's all related to the six times table. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's go through it. Um, I hope your six times table is good. Six times seven is 42. Six times four is 24. Six times nine is 54. Six times two is 12. Six times one is six. In fact, anything times one is itself. Six times five is 30. Six times naught is naught. Anything times naught is naught. 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 8 is 48. If you missed any of those, just rewind the video and watch it again. Here's our next thing that has become part of our daily practice, just to see how your brain works. You're going to start with the first line. Um, that's the one where everything is the same, so you'll be able to start. Uh, also, just note that in the second last line, in the third line, uh, those bananas represent, or the two bananas, and there's only one in the last line, so you can make the mental jump based on that. Also, have a look at the last line. You'll see this plus and times. Just remember bed mass when you're working out that final line. I'll give a little while to get started, and then I'll tell you when I'm going to carry on. And if you want more time, you can always pause the video. But I don't think I've given you nearly enough time to finish. So if you need more time, please pause the video. And if at any point while I'm going through, you get, ah, oh, okay, now that I've got that, I can do the rest on my own. Um, then just pause the video and start it again when you're ready. Okay, so we have three things in the first line that come to 30. So we have to, sh those things are all the same. So we've got to find three things that are the same that add up to 30. But we can share that out, the 30 out into three, which gives us each of the melons being 10, which I can now put into all of the melons that are on the screen. The next step is to work out the pineapples. So my total for the second line comes to 20, but I've already used up 10 of those with the melon. So I've got another 10, so 10 plus 10 will give me 20, to share out between the two pineapples. So 10 shared equally into 2 gives me 5. 
So I now know that each of the pineapples is worth five. On to my bananas. Right, so in the third line, the total is nine. I've already got five of those, so I need another four, which means that each of these is two. So four shared both of those is two and two. So four, five plus two plus two is nine. I know that those bananas are worth two. Now, as you can see, there are two bananas and it's worth two. So when there's one banana in the last line, I think you can safely assume that it's worth one. Now, just remembering bed mass, the order of operations, which tells us that before we do the adding, we have to do the multiplying. So one times 10 is 10. That's the answer to this part here. 10, this part is five. We add those together and we get that the answer is 15. I hope that these are becoming easier. They're quite a lot of fun. Uh, I sometimes go on the internet and just look for some just to keep my brain sharp. Some of them are quite tricky. Um, yeah, so let's go back and have a look at data handling. So data handling um, one and our goals for today. Uh, so we need to know what the mean, the median, the mode, the range, the minimum, the maximum are. But today we're not going to have a look at how to find the mean. So we're just today going to look at what the mean, we're going to be able to find the median, the mode, the range, the maximum and the minimum. Yeah. So I'll come to what each of these things is in a moment, or in fact, yeah, let's do it within here. So this is a little song, you can find it on YouTube if you want to hear somebody sing it really nicely. I will try and sing it for you as much as I'm going to be embarrassed for my own singing. Um, but uh, the median uh, is the middle number. So if you've got a range of numbers and you put them in order from smallest to biggest, then the middle of those numbers, the one that's in the middle, is the median. Um, the mean, this word here, mean, uh, is the same as average. So it's the proper term for average. So if you wanted to talk about your average for maths, uh, your mark for the whole year, you talk about your average for all the tests, um, you're talking about your mean. Um, so what you do is you add up all of them, uh, all of your tests, and you divide by how many there are, and that will give you the mean. All right, so it's the average. We're not going to practice that, but it is part of the little song. Um, and so I've left it in there. Oh, and that's supposed to be the mode is the one that you see the most. So the mode is the, is the value that you see the most. Um, this will be easier once we work with some examples, um, but I am going to teach you the song. And finally, the range is the difference, which means the minus between your maximum and your minimum. I'll go through all of them in a moment, but let me sing the song for you. <clears throat> hey, diddle, diddle, the median's the middle. You add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. And I'm going to sing it again. I'm going to go through it another three times, and probably for the rest of the day, it's going to be stuck in your head. If you are able to, if there's no one around, or if you're not embarrassed, let's sing along with me. <coughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. Hey, diddle, diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between last time. Hey, diddle, diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. <sighs> right. Uh, so let's see if that gets stuck in your head the rest of the day. I know that every time I teach this section and do this song, it gets stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Let's go across and have a look at the whiteboard. Okay, so I have written down what the definitions are, just so that we can read through them together. Right, so you can see the mean, which I've also put there is the average. We add everything together. And then we divide by how many things there are. We are not doing this one today. Uh, it is one that we'll do in the next lesson. It's one that takes a little bit of time. It's more complicated. 
And actually later on in school, you get to use a calculator when you're doing this. So just telling you. All right, the median is the middle number when the numbers are in order. The mode is the number that we see the most often. Sometimes you can have more than one mode. And we have something like where we call it bimodal, meaning there are two modes, or trimodal, where there are three modes. And then after that, we just say it's polymodal, which means there's many modes. Um, but most of the time when your teachers ask you this, you'll either have one or two modes. Maximum, you've probably heard that word. It means the biggest number that we have. Minimum, the smallest number we have. And the range is actually just the gap between the minimum and the maximum. So I've got some information down here. Um, and we're going to have a look at the, oops, the, all of these things with um, some information. So I thought what I would do is put this on the side and then we can try and work these each out uh, separately. Okay, so the, the, one of the important things is that um, to find the median, uh, you need to actually put things into order. So right now I've got these numbers. We could say something like it's the marks that a class got for a spelling test at school that was out of 10. And what we need to do is find out what all of these things are. So when I say all of these things, I'm going to exclude the mean for today. So I'm looking for the median, the mode, the maximum, the minimum, and the range. Okay, before we start doing that, we need to put our numbers into order. All right, so those numbers are all there, but it's not so easy to see everything. So the easiest thing to do is to put it into order. So the way I like to put it into order so that I make sure I don't miss anything is I'm going to write them down but I'm also going to cross them out as I go. So the smallest number I can see there is a two. And so I'm going to write down two and I'm going to cross it out. And I'm going to look through the rest of my numbers to see if I've got another small number. I've got another two. So I'm going to write it down. The next smallest number I see is a three. And I see another three. And I see another three. All right, and I'm checking through, I've got no more threes. I do have a four, and I have another four. Uh, no one got five, but I do see a six. No one got seven, but I see an eight. And another eight. I see a nine, and a nine. And another nine. And I'm getting a little bit squishy at the end, but that's okay. I see a 10 and a 10. All right. I'm actually not happy that it's all squishy. I'm going to space that out a little bit more. Right. There we go. My numbers are in order and spaced out quite nicely. Um, I do also like to just double check for myself that I haven't missed anything. So I do that by counting these numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that way, it's a good way to double check that you never, you didn't miss any when you were writing them down. Okay, and also by crossing them out, I make sure I don't accidentally get any of them twice. Okay, so the first one I'm actually going to look at is the median. So the median is the number in the middle. Actually, no, I think let's start off with the easier ones. I'm going to start off by looking at the maximum, the minimum, and the range. So maximum means the biggest number I have. And now that I've put them into order, that's quite nice and easy to see. It's just the number at the top. So my maximum is 10. My minimum is also quite easy to see. It's the smallest one, which will be the one on the left. So my minimum is two. Range is the difference between remember and the range is the difference between and so what we do is we do that minus sum because difference means minus so 10 minus 2 equals 8 which means that our range is 8. okay so we've done the three easy ones i'm now going to do the mode All right and then i'll come back to the mean and i'm doing that just because i have to cross things out when i'm working out the mean Okay, so let's see our mode. So mode, what was the mode again? The mode is the one that we see the most. Okay, so which one of these numbers do we see the most? Well, we've got two twos, we've got three threes, 
So, so far it's three, we've got two fours, we've got a six, we've got two eights, we've got three nines. Ah, we also have three nines and we have two tens. So this one has two modes because there are three threes and there are three nines. So our modes are three and nine. So this one is a bimodal problem, meaning it's got two modes. Okay, finally we have to look for the median. Now we've already put the information into order, because uh, remember it says it must be the middle number, but the numbers must be in order. It's not like you can't look for the middle number over there because they're not in order yet. Okay, so the way I'm going to find the middle number is to cross out the numbers on each end fairly. So I'm going to cross one over there, 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 one over there. One over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. Right, and one over there, and one over there. So I'm left with a middle number, which is six. And very simply, that means my median is six. So I have a couple more examples to look through. We're going to find the same things. We're going to do, and we'll do our means tomorrow. Um, but let's have a look at the next one, which is, oopsie, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Okay, so here is our information. Uh, let's put it into order. Okay, so what's my smallest number? Is it two? My next smallest, I've got no threes, but I see a four. And another four. Haven't missed any fours. I do see a five. Let's do a five. I see a six and another six and another six. I see a seven, another seven, another seven, another seven. I see an eight, another eight, another eight, another eight. And another eight. I see a nine. And another nine. Ten. And eleven. And a twelve. I know it's a little squash, but that's good enough for me. Right, so let's find again the maximum. That's going to be easy. That's our maximum. Let me erase the ones from the previous one. Right, so we've got our maximum, which was 12, our minimum, which was 2, our range, we work out by going the maximum minus the minimum, which is 10, so our range is 10. Now we want to work out, we want to look to see which one is the mode. Mode is the one that we see the most. Okay, so not going to be 2. Four, we've got two of, five, we've got one of, or oh, we've got three sixes, or oh, we've got four sevens, we've got five eights, two nines. Okay, so it's going to be the eights. So my mode, the one I see the most, is eight. Okay, and the final step is to do my median. I'm going to do that by crossing off from the outside and working in towards the middle. So one and one. Cross out those two. I'm only changing color so that I make sure I've got the same number on both sides and it's easy to see. So I'm left with a middle number. So my median is seven. So it's the middle value of an ordered set of numbers. Okay, I have two more to two more examples to do. Let's erase these ones so we can do them here as well. Here's the numbers we're going to look at. So I've got fewer numbers this time. 
but slightly bigger numbers. So first off, we're going to put them in order from smallest to biggest. So 25 is the smallest one I see, nothing smaller, so 25 will come first. 32 is the next smallest. Ah, in fact, this one I can see is already put in order, so I'm not going to do it again. Right, it's already in order from smallest to biggest. So let's see if we can find the maximum and the minimum. Maximum will be my biggest, 69. Minimum will be my smallest, which is 25. To find the range, I need to minus the 2. So I'm going to do vertical subtraction over here. Uh, 9 minus 5 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. So my range is 44. Next one is to find out what the mode is, the one that we see the most. Well, we've got one of those. We have two of those. 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So 32 is going to be my mode. And finally, we need to find the median, which is the middle number, crossing out from the ends. I find that my middle number is 35. There we go. Now we have the last one, and the last one has something different about it. Um, when it comes to the median, but we won't look at that until the very end. So let's look at the other things. We're still trying to find the same information or the same kinds of information, but with these numbers over here. So these ones are not in order. Note these ones are in order. All right, so we don't have to order these ones again. Let's have a quick look. Our maximum, that's going to be easy to see, 26. Our minimum, easy to see. It's always easy to see them from ordered information. So that means when it's in order from smallest to biggest. Right, so that's good to know. But our range is the difference. So we've got to go 26 minus 10 gives me 16. So our range is 16, the difference between the maximum and the minimum. The mode, let's see which number we see the most. There's one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. Aha, uh -huh, I see two of those. One two of those, one and two of those. So in fact, for this one, we have three modes. And those numbers are 22, 24, and 26. So our answer for mode is that the 22, 24, and 26 are our modes. Oopsie. So next thing is to work out the median. So remember, the median is the middle number of your ordered information. So cross out from the ends. See, let's do a different color. Oh, now I see a problem. I've got one more I can cross out from either side. And the middle is going to actually be between these two numbers. Oh, well, I'm going to show you how to work it out. But actually, if you think about it, what's halfway between 22 and 23? 22 and a half. Hmm. Well, that's easy enough. Right. And that's all we actually have to do is to, is to find out what's halfway between. And the way we'll do that is we'll add these two numbers together, 22 plus 23. And then we'll divide it by 2. You can also write that. Divide it by 2. It's the same thing. So if I add those together, I get 45. 22 plus 23 is 45. Divided by 2. Going back to on the side, I'm just going to do my division that we learned how to do. Uh, so 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 5 twice with one left over. So you could put rem1. Another way of writing this is you say we've got one left and we were dividing by twos. So that's where our half comes from. So we can see 22 and a half is our median. So our median is 22 and a half. Whew. That's quite a lot of 
new information. So let's finish off by singing that song two more times. I'm getting into the swing of things now. One, two, three. Hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. Hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. Great fives, have an awesome day. Sing that song over and over in your head just to cement it. Do the worksheet above. Make sure that you've got it. That's all. If you want to email me, that's grade5 at worksheetcloud.com. Grade 5s, have a fantastic day.